So when you got your central contract, you said central contract. You said you were so surprised that you started crying. So how was that experience? Yeah, I did start crying. Um, nah, a bit of a once in a lifetime experience. Really, kind of came to me as a shock. So I wasn't really expecting it. So yeah, it was a few tears there. <laughs> But now nah, it's good. Cool. So you are one of the few uncapped players at the Commonwealth Games. So what will be the experience like making your international debut at a global event like Commonwealth Games? Well, hopefully I make my debut. <laughs> Never know. Don't know that yet. But yeah, it's uh, to make my debut in a Commonwealth Games is pretty special as well. It's a competition within a competition, really. So yeah. I'm I'm nervous, but looking forward to it, and hopefully I do make my debut here. But if not, there's plenty of more games this coming season, so we have to wait and see. So New Zealand have had a lot of changes in recent times, and you have a new look squad. So how is the environment like? No, the environment's really good. Um, all the girls have been really welcoming and everything. Like, yeah, all the older ones. Especially, have been helping me out throughout my cricket so far with the white ferns and everything. So, yeah, it's it was a bit scary coming in. I was not gonna lie, I was a bit scared, but now nah, they haven't had anything against us or anything. So, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, on the same note, you talked about older players like Sosi Bates, Sophie Devan, and Leah Tohuar. So, how their influence is around the group? Yeah, um, definitely, they're big influences around the group, especially. Those three being been in of the game really, been in the team for a long time, and they've really passed the way for us young ones to come into the team and everything, playing with them and against them. So, yeah, they're they're great leaders for sure, especially for us younger ones. So New Zealand recently announced the that equal pay will be there for male and female cricketers for uh, match fee equal match fee for male and female cricketers. How does that have an effect on uh, your career? That's great. Yeah, that is great. Um, that's one step towards becoming more equal in the sport, and hopefully, it paths other ways for other sports to become more equal in pay and things like that. But no, it's a great stepping stone for us women's cricket, really. So yeah. Now let's talk about your uh, your cricketing journey. How did you start playing cricket? Uh, I started playing cricket at a young age, just where I lived, around with my family. I have a younger brother, so we quite, we're quite competitive with sports. So we got into that at a young age, and then just went up through the ranks with the boys and things like that. There was, weren't really many girls playing where I came from, so yeah, I was one of the boys really, <laughs> playing with them. But yeah, and then went through primary school, and then went into high school playing cricket for St Hilda's, and then gone to Sparks, and then I'm here. So yeah, I only became an off spinner about four or five years ago. But um, yeah, I was a little wee slow outswing bowler, so yeah, but I didn't really have a real off spinner influence, but definitely with a Tiger would be Susie Bates, everyone says Susie Bates, but she's helped me through a lot and um, she was there through under 13s and under 15s and, and then to actually be playing with her in the uh, Tiger Sparks and then in the White Ferns now, it's really like... She has been there throughout my whole career, really, pretty much. So, yeah, big influence. So, talking about Sparks, you had a great season, Super Smash season, uh, helping them to reach the final. So, how was the whole season like? It was great. I think we really came together as a team, especially as well. And with Craig and the support staff, they really helped us to perform the way we did with all the trainings and everything like that. But, yeah, there's been some great individual performances which helped the team through both formats of the game, so yeah. Talking about both formats, you took a five wicket fall in the final of the HBJ Shield to help Sparks win the title. So, how was the whole experience like? Yeah, that was, that was quite surreal, especially getting a five foot in the final. Yeah, um, I didn't, I was hoping I'd get it, but I wasn't sure. And then when Marina took that catch, I was like, oh, well, <laughs> like got it. But now nah, it was really good and yeah, I feel like Helped my career a lot and stuff like that. Just get some good performances under my belt, really. In Commonwealth Games, you have three opportunities to win a medal. So, how do you look forward to that experience, and how? What are the team goals and individual goals? 
Um, yeah, really looking forward to it, I think. For me individually, I think um, just keeping to my plans and how I play, I'm not trying to do too much special, too like nothing too special. Sticking to my plans, I think as a team, sticking to our plans for facing other teams or so like that, and then having individual plans for other team players and things like that. So yeah, all exciting times really. <laughs> uh, we've had some training camps in Tauranga and Lincoln for our lead-ups to coming to here and um, those have been good we've just been training net sessions going through plans and what our individual brands are and then we came here a couple weeks earlier, earlier and hoping to have, we have a couple games against England A for preparation that'll be good so yeah I think team I'm not really sure we haven't had a real big team goals meeting yet but obviously you want to win as many games as you, yes. as you can but yeah we already talked about you getting the central contract so how was the feeling when you got the new zealand call up yeah it was pretty surreal to be honest i i was as i said before i was quite shocked and i didn't really know what to say when i did get the call up um i kind of just froze on the phone and i didn't say anything really and then kind of only really just hit me now since we're away here that I'm actually, I have been contracted for the New Zealand women's cricket team and it's kind of just hit me. Yeah, it's a bit overwhelming, but I have to get used to it, I guess. Teams are going to be the most challenging to face in the competition and how New Zealand have prepared for that. You know, every, I think every game's different. So just preparing for each individual team and you never know so what happens on the day. So yeah, we're just gonna have to prepare well, hopefully execute well, and then hopefully win. But yeah, there's some, there's all those teams are good in the pool. So really just comes down to who wants it more on the day.